The boat work's been coming along, uh, but it's not been without injury, so both of us are kind of banged up at the moment. And the projects are almost done, so it's kind of a tit for tat. But I got that on my hand, which is uh, lovely and only throbs all the time. And then the spot on my heels, so I was climbing out in the cockpit, and I slipped and I hit the uh, those little studs that stand up to hold the canopy. And it just ripped a chunk out of my heel. It lifted up as a flap, so I was able to just put it back in, approximate it, and it reattached. But it's so painful. Kind of a long, hard journey, but it's getting there. We're almost done, and I, I, I can almost taste it. So we're on our friend Scott's boat. And it's the first time in a long time that we've been on a boat that was actually in the water. And it's just reminding me how much I totally miss being in the water and wisdom. The rocking and just even hearing the like stretching of the dock lines and everything, all the sounds and feelings of just bobbing in the water. I miss it so much. I didn't realize how much I missed it until we we came in here and I just like laid down and fell asleep. <laughs> I really, really can't wait to get back in the water. Soon. To close off this day, we're coming to one of our favorite restaurants here. It's an Italian restaurant actually, but it has incredible food, both Italian and Portuguese. The wood's been curing here in the clamps for about two days now, and this wood is all nicely cured as well. So we're going to take stuff apart, start sanding it, start cutting it up to make it fit perfectly, and then we're going to glue the whole countertop together on this structure here. Alright, everything is sanded and ready. So we're gonna go get some burgers now because it's dinner time. And then when we get back here, I'm gonna glue up the countertop. And we're gonna leave it in the clamps overnight and then tomorrow, I'm gonna take it out, sand it up, make it beautiful, and I'll put it in there. And yeah, I bet the galley is pretty much done. It's so, so close. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So we can't really put clamps on this because it's huge and I don't have clamps big enough for that. So instead of clamps, I did levers and friction. To create a lot of pressure this way, I have a screwdriver in there and then this pole just like prying the handle out. So that sat all night and when I put that on, glue actually squeezed out from the seam. So that's a lot of pressure. This guy's just to stabilize it exactly where it goes. And then this here is just prying it off the wall or off the bulkhead. And then over here there's a lip that catches it and that created the pressure we needed to, to pull everything in together. So the wood glue's had its time, it's dried overnight. I know it takes 24 hours to fully cure, but I found that no matter how long you leave it, if it's sitting on plastic, for some reason it won't cure down there. So what I'm gonna do is lift this out of here, get it outside, let it finish curing out in the sun. This church ever since we arrived here and I see that it's open so let's see if we can get in. So this church used to be affiliated with the very first hospital in the Azores and the reason it was on Tercera was because sailors would come here on their way to and from Europe mainland uh, and they would stop here because it was the most fortified it was the most protected from pirates. The island of Tercera actually had over 80 forts so um, this became the first hospital and a lot of people would come here by boat after long voyages and be too sick to go on so they would stop in the hospital and recover. This is the only chapel that is original. Uh, the others were brought in by other churches that were destroyed during the earthquake. Very interesting. I can't believe it's taken us this long to actually walk inside that church. Spring is here.
We're walking to Constructora to find some faucets for our new sink. It's all coming together. It's really exciting. This is the unboxing of our new camera equipment. Uh, one of our amazing patrons, Dominic, sent us this gift of a DJI Osmo. And we are so excited for this camera. It has arrived and here you go. <laughs> da -da -da! Now that knife. Luckily, my nails are razor blades. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's tiny! <laughs> it is so small! Did you expect it to be this small? No. I, I read that it was the size of a cell phone, but... Wow. <laughs> Look at this adorable case it comes in. Oh my god, it's tiny. And it's all gimbally. We should name him Oscar. <laughs> this is Oscar, everyone. And this is Oscar's little carrying tube. Oh, look at his carrying tube. There's a tube. <laughs> Such technology. It's not on. I know. Oh, okay. But look. Yeah gimbals in so many directions. So, well, once he's turned on, he goes in the position, and then he actually lives inside this. Oh, cool. Let's try to turn himself. Ah, there he goes. Oh my gosh. And then this goes in your pocket. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so light. Thank you so much, Dominic. We can't wait to yeah. use this. Yes, yeah, so we're going to... This is going to improve the quality of our videos. We also have a DJI Spark that we use as a drone. So this is... We're becoming DJI people, I guess. This is really exciting. And in other news, uh, Sailing Brittily had an episode where they talked about these amazing connectors. And I got some, and I'm going to be using them because they just looked amazing for a boat. Thank you, Sailing Brittily, as well, for this wonderful idea. <laughs> Yeah, push and hold. Oh, <laughs> he's alive. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, make sure you put on English. It's touch screen. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Sweet. Oh my gosh. All right, this is gonna be really cool. <laughs> it's a teeny tiny little touch screen. Wait, what cool. happens when you turn it off? I guess it's storage mode. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is cool. Oh. Look at that gimbling. This is our first day using Oscar, our DJI Osmo, and we're, we're testing him out today. First thing we gotta do is go get lunch. We've been working on the boat, well, Herbie's been working on the boat all morning, and we're really hoping to get it all done in 11 days. That's our goal. So, uh, we're going to Constructora. Uh, apparently we do that every day <laughs> uh, after lunch, and 
yeah, we just showered, we feel good. And on top of it all, it's a beautiful day. So we're raring to go. They have delicious soups here everywhere you go. This is peasy. Well, Herbie's feeling sick, unfortunately, so it's up to me to do some work today. And uh, I'm going to start by painting the stern of the boat because if we want to hit our 11 days, that's got to get done. It's just going to be a lot of detail stuff. Herbie's still sick today, so I'm going to get some brunch, but it looks like we've got 10 days left uh, to get the boat done, and Herbie being sick is kind of inconvenient right now. Poor guy. Um, but I think he's going to try to work through it a little bit today, and I'm going to do my best to finish the deck painting, and we'll see where that gets us. So. It's frustrating because I uh, I don't know how to do the sink and the things that Herbie would have done otherwise. I'm doing a constructora run as usual. I'm gonna get another faucet to compare and a couple other things. There are two main cities here on Tercera. Um, Angra, which is the one where we live, and Praia, which is a little bit away from it and today I'm in Praia because I had a doctor's appointment for my eye. My eye, I've been feeling a lot of pain since December so I just went and got a CAT scan and I'll hear in 12 days but for now I am just going to walk back to Scott and Grass's house. It's a beautiful day. wandering for years I was adrift directionless and wayward lost like a swallow on a cliff but slowly I found purpose and my life became more clear I found my destination yeah but now where do I go from here cuz I'm already there I'm already everywhere I'm already there I'm already everywhere I've got a wife, two kids, and a picket fence Everything was hazy now I am in complete awe and disbelief <laughs> uh, Y'all know how we are applying for residency visa here in the Azores in Portugal, and we've been really going through the ringer with it uh, so that we can travel throughout Schengen without having to do like 90 days in Schengen, 90 days out, 90 days in, and so on. So this seemed like the best route to take. However, we've had the most frustrating time with the consulate and the embassy I can't even begin to describe. Um, it's mostly been problems with the embassy in the U.S. Actually, all of the problems have been with them. The consulate at the embassy in D.C. has been... They've, they lost our papers. Lost. They, they told us we, they lost them, and then we told them that we gave them all to them stapled in a packet, and they said, oh, okay. And... and and then they lost our passport pictures, so we had to resend those, which was really hard to do since we were in Portugal. And now we just got, uh, Herbie just called me because he's back at the boat working on the galley and he was visited at the boat by a guy who came from the office saying that we had applied for a work visa. So apparently, the consulate 
back in the U.S., made it so that we applied for a work visa rather than a residency visa, which is extremely different. And now we're having to deal with all that. I mean, it's just... It's been months. It's currently the end of March. We began this process in December. I'm going to get some peanut butter. Going on a walk to get some peanut butter. Gonna get some peanut butter. Bye. Bye. Shadows where flowers stand like trees by the cover of a willow. He got down on his knees, he buried all of his hopes and the quiet stream and waited for the summer to make them bloom Woo! covering up the through hole yep through hole so we got that lump but after we're done or after cures we'll sand it oh hi. <laughs> yeah sorry I got the through hole covered, so we're gonna let this cure. Once it's done curing, we're gonna sand it and then we'll fare it into the hole. And then it's done, done. But at least now it's structurally closed, so there's no longer a hole in the hole. This peanut butter was five euros. Why? For this tiny peanut butter. Oh my god, wow. So enjoy it. Yeah, I guess no more peanut butter for Herbie. Yeah. I am washing the dishes in our new sink. And notice how I have a pot and it's not bumping into the sink. <laughs> it's magical. This is so exciting. I've never been this excited to wash dishes. <laughs> We're gonna start by trying to find a physical therapist for my foot, because uh, it's still not as good as it should be at this point. Dropped off our order for Wisdom, Baltimore, Maryland. Wisdom, Wisdom, logo, logo, logo. <laughs> so I'm all clean, and I just had a little worm friend in my shower stall. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.